the altitude really got me. I mean, I was breathing like a horse and sometimes I broke in up to my knees into the snow. I couldn't see the tracks. There were no tracks, probably no human for a long time. But then I saw this landscape right in front of me. I fell down on the ground and I just couldn't believe it close to the formations that were created by the wind. Sometimes I think if the weather conditions are not perfect, why should I go out taking landscape photography? But you know, these special times, they are a challenge, but delivering wonderful shots at the end. If you're shooting on snow fields, it's a totally different situation than you would on beaches or in rainforests or whatever there might be. With snow, you have these flare, you have the reflections of the sun hitting right on top of that big surface. And you must concentrate on what you're doing. You must figure out how much is the reflection going to influence my shot. And we are in a digital time age. You just can't point your camera and shoot. In post-production, you may think, oh, I can save every bit of, of quality information, but that is certainly not true. If there is no information in the shot, you will not recover that later in post-production. And therefore, I tend to underexpose the shot by half an f-stop, just to make sure in the very bright areas, I still have enough information to have the opportunity later in post-production to gain everything out of the shot that there is possible. There was this crest I was walking along, right up on the top of the mountain, and down to my right there was this valley, and not everything was covered in snow yet, but the wind was blowing harshly, and I was walking up there, and I had this goal right in front of me, and I kept on walking. It was difficult, but I love it, because you were aiming for a certain shot, and there it was, and click, 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 the camera just created these stunning pictures. It, it creates some kind of a satisfaction within you, you know? If you're concentrating on a landscape shot, do not underestimate that the cloud formations and everything above also need to have its value. Sometimes even use an ND, like a neutral density filter, to keep the information you have in the sky and make it equal to the landscape. I must say, I'm absolutely loving shooting against the sun. Imagine you'd have a situation in the forest and the sun's coming from the background. The beauty it creates shooting against the sun. All the flares going in all the different directions. Therefore, I recommend shoot an f-stop or two lower than you would normally do and try to regain that in post-production. But the result will be absolutely amazing. You will love that. As a little kid, I was walking around and it was always very exciting to see the rubbish of other people. And I went there and looked through and I found this, this camera, there it was. And I said, wow, what an amazing tool. I took it back home only to discover it's, it's not gonna work anymore, it was too old. But still there was the idea of a camera. Uh, maybe I, I should start photography. Well, years later, I, I got my first, first camera, I looked through the viewfinder and said, wow, depending on what lens you use, of course, you would see things that you probably don't even pay attention to. And I was impressed about what you could accomplish. And I was amazed and I said, I want to take more pictures in my life. 